everybody <clears throat> this is Sir Pshad back another day with another unboxing uh, today's unboxing is uh, Jun Olson Dutch Dutch bag uh, the third liters backpack and this one is a collaboration with um, I actually forgot his name I'll be right back. His name is Jake Alvarez, and I have no idea who that is. Probably some kind of explorer or something. But uh, what I like about this one, I have the, not the standard one, but I have a, a, a maroon one. Uh, and I like. I like uh, Juno uh, backpacks, the douchebag backpacks, because they are smart, they look good, and uh, the quality, I have nothing to, nothing to, uh, to complain about. The difference between this one and uh, the other one is that you have, uh, it's not leather, but sort of leather, uh, pleather like I used to, that I like to call it. And this backpack smells like shit, but it cost uh, around 50 euro more than your usual one. And the difference is this leather thing all around it, uh, the white ticks, and uh, yeah, that's it. But the hugger, as, as they call them, the hugger backpack, um, I like that you have this apart compartment on the top. Uh, we can store a lot of things actually, but when you travel, you can have your passport, your keys, your your stuff that you need uh, need to get your hands on quickly. Uh, and you have this system where you can put this bag on the on the roller bag, and uh, yeah. So I bet you all know what what this backpack can do. If you have a compartment everywhere. This is for the PC, uh, and uh, yeah, but what I like the most about these backpacks is that when you load it, when you pack, you got this huge gap. You don't only have the top opening, so you open up the whole bag, and it's very, uh, very easy to, uh, to pack just because of this uh, I actually feel that it's straightened, it's straightened uh, enforced in the sides here I don't know if, if my other bag is that and uh, the 30 liter size it's, it's a good size it's a size that you can use uh, daily uh, if you have the use for a backpack but most important is size uh, used good enough to have with you as a carry-on on the plane. What I would like to see in the future is uh, padded, um, I don't know what these are called, straps. I would like to have them those more padded because uh, my other backpacks have that. But when you have it on, the the size for me at least the size and length makes it very easy to carry even if i had a full with everything so it weighs probably more than those 10 kilos that you can have when you carry on um, it's no restraint on my back because the bag is uh, well fitted yeah that's a good word we're well fitted this is what it looks like and uh, around 200 euro for this one. The standard one is 150 euro, more or less. And for a good looking backpack that are functional and sort of a brand thing, everybody knows June Olson and everybody that knows June Olson knows Dutch bag. Uh, so it's a good price. And of course, I didn't expect the letter to be real, but um, 500 kronos. 50 euros more than your standard one. I thought it was going to be something more special than just the, 
a white text and a fake letter, but that's it. Douchebag J. Alvarez, less human, more being. Yeah, it's a nice backpack. And for some reason, when backpacks are new, they smell like shit. I don't know why. You've probably seen my uh, Supreme backpack unboxing. That smelled terrible. I couldn't even have it inside my apartment. Uh, but now it's no problem. Same thing with this one, I guess. So yeah, good looking backpack, uh, good price, and uh, smart. You said the other douchebag product is smart. I really like that you open up the whole front when you load it. So yeah, hope you like my video. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment, ask me questions, but most important, please subscribe. Thanks.